Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Bullock and this uh, Algebra 2 lesson is graphing quadratics in vertex or intercept form. This is, a, a, I think, an easy lesson, you guys. I taught this in my Algebra 1 class, so still doing some Algebra 1 reviews. Okay, so graph this guy right here. What if I said solve this and set it equal to 0, why it was equal to 0? Do you see how we set this factor equal to 0 and this factor equal to 0? We do the same thing here because these are going to be uh, where it goes through the x-axis right here. So that's the zeros where it goes through the x-axis. So when I set x plus 1 equal to 0, I get x equals negative 1. And here I get x equals 5. So those are the zeros right there. And this tells me it's negative. It's opening down right there. Okay, so, uh, so, so the vertex has got to be up here somewhere if it's going to be opening down right there. All right, and the, and the vertex is right in the middle of these two intercepts right there. So what you do is you average those two intercepts right there. So this is 6 across, so I'm just going to go 3 across. And then, uh, so it's half the distance between those intercepts. That's probably a better way to say that. So the vertex is uh, on x equals 2. Do you remember how to get uh, the y uh, uh, coordinate for your vertex? You plug it in. Plug it in right there. x equals 2 into that one and x equals 2 into that one and solve for y. So I get uh, uh, 2 plus 1, 2 minus 5. This is 3, this is negative 3. Don't forget the negative that we had out there, so it's uh, positive 9. So the vertex is over here at 3 comma 9. All right, and, and there it is up there, and uh, it's negative, so if I go over 1, it goes down 1 squared on both sides. When I go over 2, it's going to go down 2 squared, which is 4 on both sides, okay? So uh, right there and right there. If I go over 3, it's going to go down 3 squared, which is 9. That takes me to these intercepts right there, okay? So there it is right there. Okay, this one has a maximum value. The maximum value is at uh, y equals 9. I think I discussed that at the end of the video right there. Okay, so let's graph this guy. All right, so let's factor this. I can pull a 2 out. And when I pull a 2 out, it becomes a difference of squares. Then I can set these factors equal to 0. So I get x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1. This is positive, so it's opening up. So if it's opening up, then the vertex is down or down here somewhere. Okay, so the vertex is in the middle of these two guys. So the, the axis of symmetry is x equals 0. So I plug in x equals 0 into the equation, and I get negative 2 is my y-coordinate of my vertex. So the vertex is at 0, negative 2. Okay, now if I go over 1, it goes up 2 times 1 squared, which is 2. If I go over 2, 2 squared is 4. It's going to go up twice that, or 8, so it's going to be up here. If I went over 3, it would go up 18, 3 squared, and then twice that. Okay, so there's the, there's the graph right there. Alrighty, okay, let's graph this guy. Okay, let's go ahead and pull a 3 out, okay? And then uh, this factors, you guys, factors of 4 that adds to negative 2 or negative 2 times negative 2. So it's 3 times x minus 2 squared. So the only vertex is at x equals 2 right there. So that's going to be, I'm sorry, the only intercept is at x equals 2. So uh, that is the vertex right there. If that's the only place where it intersects it right there, so it's going to go over 1, up 3 times 1 squared. Over 2, up 3 times 2 squared, okay? And then uh, you can plug in uh, x equals 2 right here. I'd plug it in right here. 2 minus 2 is 0, so y is equal to 3 times 0. So you get 0, okay? But I knew the vertex was right there. So as I go over 1, it goes up 3 times 1 squared. Over 2, up 3 times 2 squared. So check it out. If I go over 2, 2 squared is 4. It's going to go up 3 times that, or 12. Okay, that 3 makes it skinnier right there. Okay, this has a minimum right there at y equals zero okay i think i'll show you that at the end anyways okay yeah i did all right so uh there's the max at y equals nine on that one there's the min at uh, y equals negative two and the min is y equals zero all right okay when you're graphing and this one's called the vertex form right here this is your vertex staring right at you when you're graphing it and it looks like this you guys your vertex is this h comma k all right so um, and, and I always like to think of, uh, you take opposite of what's in the parentheses right there. See how it says minus h, but it's positive h right there? It's always opposite what's in the parentheses right there, and this is the same. So whatever that is, that's what this is right there. So that's your vertex, and uh, axis symmetry is x equals your x-coordinate of your vertex, h. Okay, and um, graph opens up if this is positive. And your minimum, remember it has a minimum if it opens up. Your minimum is y equals k, your y-coordinate of your vertex. And it opens down if the a is negative. And then it would have a max at y equals k. So let's graph this guy. Okay, the vertex is opposite same, negative 2, 5. All right? 
Okay, so there it is right there. It's opening down. It's going down a fourth of one squared, a fourth of two squared, a fourth of three squared. So if I go over one, it goes down a one squared one, but only a fourth. Over two, two squared is four, but only a fourth is one. Okay, over three, three squared is nine, uh, but only a fourth would be four and a half. I didn't put those uh, dots right there. And then over four, uh, that's this guy over here, over four, four squared is... Uh, uh, 16, but a fourth of that's only down 4 right there. Alright, so it's going to take me down to the positive 1 because it's up there at 5. Alright, go ahead and connect them up. And there you go, your, ma your maximums at y equals 5 right there. Alright, let's try one more. Graph uh, uh, this guy, okay? Now, can you see that that uh, is plus 0 right there? So my vertex is at opposite same, negative 2, 0. It's opening down. There's no number except the negative. So over 1, down 1 squared. So, and then over 2 down 2 squared, which means it's going to drop down to 4 right there and right there. Okay, over 3, down 9. Okay, and then uh, connect them up, and there's your max right there. And if you're in my Algebra 2 class, that would be your homework assignment. Take care.